I'm Salvatore Pabonis, and this short video showcases the first two years of lending by China's Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or AIIB. I wrote about this for Forbes uh, last month on the occasion of the second anniversary of the AIIB. Now, the AIIB was widely feared to be a Chinese effort to somehow take over Eurasia by uh, strategically lending for projects that would uh, support Chinese foreign policy goals and Chinese military expansion. It was also believed or, or accused of uh, potentially reducing environmental and lending standards by uh, you know, possibly lending to corrupt regimes and non-democracies. Um, in fact, the AIB has been both remarkably responsible in its first two years of operation and also remarkably modest in its lending. It's only lent $4.4 billion in its first two years. And although that might seem like a lot of money to you or me, it pales by comparison to the something like you know six or eight trillion dollars of infrastructure investment that's really needed across Asia. I wrote this article for Forbes uh, analyzing data from the AIB and its lending patterns. And I'll show you in particular this graph about AIB lending by country. And I'll go to the blow up here. Uh, it's particularly instructive because you'll see immediately that the top recipient of AIIB lending has been India. Now, India is widely considered uh, one of China's most important geopolitical rivals. Uh, in fact, uh, India and China had a tense military standoff uh, all through the northern summer of 2017 on, the, on their border on the Doklam Plateau at the same time when the AIIB was actively lending to projects in India. India is the top recipient of AI, AIIB lending both by number of projects and by total lending. Also noteworthy is the third largest recipient of AIIB lending, which is uh, Azerbaijan. Most of this lending in Azerbaijan has gone to a pipeline project, the Transcaucasian Pipeline, which will export Azerbaijani natural gas directly, or well, indirectly to Europe, uh, bypassing Russia. So this is a project that would be um, you know, very much opposed uh, by Russian geopolitical interests. Nonetheless, it has been funded by the AIIB. Um, in the article, I also have a map of the distribution of AIIB projects. There's a map of the trans or a picture of the Transcaucasian gas pipeline, and uh, the number of AIIB projects by country, which, as you can see, is concentrated in you know, India, Oman, Indonesia, and these projects are mostly just you know, good sense civilian projects. If you'd like to get an idea for yourself, go to the AIIB website under projects and they actually have lists of both approved projects and currently proposed projects. Now I have asked the AIIB for a list of projects that were previously proposed but rejected, you know, not funded, and they never even responded to my email. So they could improve perhaps on their public engagement by responding to emails. Uh, nonetheless, if you want to see the current list of approved projects, just go to their website, the documentation's all there. And one of the most recent ones is the approval of, for example, an air quality improvement project in Beijing, the first AIIB project actually in China itself. An interesting fact, China has received more funding in the last two years from the Japan-dominated Asian Development Bank than it has lent to itself via the AIIB uh, Development Bank. So, you know, I think the idea that China is not working with its uh, with regional other regional banks is really unfounded. Um, in fact, if you read my article, you'll find that uh, over half of the AIIB's projects, both by number of projects and by lending has been done in collaboration with other international development banks, mainly the World Bank, but also the ADB and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So rather than lowering lending standards by you know, having its own idiosyncratic lending rules, um, over half of the AIAB's lending is actually going to projects that have already been approved and uh, funded by these multilateral investment banks.
Now, if you'd like to get uh, the data of the a a compendium of all the AIB's lending in its first two years, just send me an email. I've actually put it all together in a spreadsheet uh, with some simple analytics so you can see you know, where the projects are and you know, where the funding is going. But I've just pulled all of that from the AIB website. It's a pain to pull it all because you have to compile it from individual project documents. So if you want a copy of the spreadsheet, just email me. You want to know how to reach me? Just find me at my website, salvatorpobonus.com, or you can also sign up for my monthly Global Asia newsletter. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you'd like to hear from me more as well. Thanks a lot.